Hello friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain why Vmos Pro and X8 Sandbox apps get in dark screen on lots of Android devices and how to fix this error and alternatives for this such kind of problems. So let's see continue our video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification alert and join with me. Okay friends, here you can see I have already installed Vmos Pro application and one ROM inside of this Vmos Pro application. But there is a problem when running this ROM on my device is need 2GB RAM or 32GB storage to emulate this on my device. So then I have bypassed that error from editing that apk file. But after that I am facing uh, so this kind of dark screen error here you can see my Vmos Pro application is loading that ROM Here you can see here is the error what we all are facing in our days. So let's see talk about why is this dark screen error on our devices. Just close the Vmos Pro application like this. Now you need to install this CPU set application. Just open it. Here is the answer for this kind of a problem. My device is running under OpenGL 2.0 configura configuration. So my device is doesn't support to emulate that GL uh, ES 3.0 on my device. Now you need to download and install this CPU set application. You can download this application from Play Store then simply open it and go to system tab. In here you can see my OpenGL ES version is 2.0 that means my hardware is doesn't support to emulate OpenGL 3.0 application like Vmos Pro X8 Sandbox that's why I am facing such kind of dark screen error when I am opening any ROM in the Vmos Pro application and also X8 Sandbox application. Wait, is that true? How can we clarify this? Yeah, definitely we have to clarify this. You need to download this companion for GL2's application from Play Store. You need, don't need to root access to run this application. Just download and install it on your device. Then in here you can see some of informations are given. My device information here and also you can see my CPU and GPU information here and also I can check my GPU is support to 1.1 uh, rendering is test and 2.0 rendering test let's we try to do these things and check my uh, GL versions are support to this rendering test or not in here when I'm going to open GL 1.1 rendering test is passed because of this pick is appeared on my screen but I am going to run this OpenGL 2.0 and FBAO test both of the, them are failed when I am going to test the decompression test also that one is failed this almost all the options are not working because of my OpenGL version is 2.0 and also it doesn't support to emulate this options on my device 
So I how can I fix these errors? Let's we try to fix these errors with GL2's application. GL2's application is a root one, root needed application. So I'm going to open this one and that application and fix this error with GL2's application. Here you can see all of the application what I have already installed on my device. Now I am going to uh, check where is the my uh, companion for GL2's application and fix that error. Where is this one? Here is the application what we need. Now I am going to enable custom settings for this application now i am going to uh, enter this one and also i am going to enter peg gpu and cpu info now i am going to select a template from here and turn on this tick sorry this one so let's see try to open that tab once again Once again we are here, when it came to here, now you can check my device, info is changed to Mali 400 MP12 and Reno 321 and also when I am going to all of these checks one by one, OpenGL ES 1.1 rendering test is passed and also OpenGL 2.0 rendering test is passed, also this one is working. You can see uh, my phone is successfully working with under these configurations what we received from the GL2's application. Now here you can see I have successfully fixed my OpenGL errors with GL2's application. When it came to here you may have a problem is that GL2's application can fix the dark screen of Vmos Pro application. The simplest answer is no because of that Vmos Pro application and X8 Sandbox applications are running under OpenGL 3.0 configurations. So we can't fix OpenGL 3.0 configurations errors with this GL2's application because it's a hardware function. If you need to run Vmos Pro application without any of dark screen error, you need to definitely buy a mobile which support to OpenGL 3.0 configuration. Here you can see I have successfully um, able to buy a new phone which has OpenGL 3.0 functions. Here you can see my OpenGL ES version is 3.0. Let's see try to open any of Vmos from using this phone. Here you can see I have successfully installed Vmos Pro application on my uh, new phone. Then I am going to run Vmos ROM. Here you can see we have successfully installed a Vmos RAM uh, on a Vmos Pro application without having any of dark screen errors. Zero hopes, huh? No, there is a no problem if you can't install and run Vmos Pro application inside on your mobile. If you need to, but if you need to install root on your device or if you need to install android 7.1 os on your device you have alternative applications than vmos these applications are 100 percent working on any device without having any of dark screen errors first one is vmos light application 
you can download uh, find the download the link of this application from given link in the description you can see my vmo slide application is also uh, opening and it has inbuilt root access and also you can get exposed features onto this application and also if you need uh, install android 7.1 rom with, uh, with root access you, you can download and install this virtual android application on your mobile then download the rom of this mobile and open it now here you can see it's booting now we can run our vmos pro application vmos lite application like this here you can see my vmos lite applications uh, and uh, application is working and also uh, my virtual android application is launching this we check the when i am going to system wrap you can see my root access up working on vmos lite application also virtual android is launching let's we wait until the finishing of boot process of virtual android application is taking too much time because of only my phone has 1.5 gb ram that's why that one is uh, taking some times to follow and also this vmos lite application running on that rom also virtual android is loading that's why taking too much time to load this uh, virtual android application now here you can see this is my virtual android application mm -hmm. application and exit sandbox application are fixed with this tutorial so thank you all for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel turn on notification with me